Good morning. It's Friday, February 18th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Good Advice for the Long Haul, and our scripture Psalm, chapter 37. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong. For like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust Him and He will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn, and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. The lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity. God's plans for us are always good, despite the difficulties we may encounter. The problem with human critters comprehending that is our perspective of good runs far short of God's perspective. Mostly, we want everything to be what we want rather than what God has determined is good. For instance, living safely in the land and prospering can only mean no problems, bigger bank accounts. Or trust him and he'll help you can only mean put God on probation and go with his plan as long as it suits you. And don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. That can only mean God's only doing his job as long as the bad guy gets his comeuppance and I get to rub it in his face. Or, the lowly will possess the land and will live in peace and prosperity can only mean I'm getting a promotion over the other guy. Yeah, that one who also prayed, but God likes me better than him. So what is the psalmist saying about trusting God in the long haul of living? He's saying exactly what he said. Trust God. That includes the mountain of trials and events you face which make little sense to you. In order to see the truth of God's plans for you unfold, it's sometimes a long haul, and some of it you will not see, because you've planned an outcome that is light years away from God's thoughts. God already told us that through the prophet. Isaiah chapter 55, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For you today, in trusting God today and tomorrow, and all the following tomorrows, make sure to take a deep breath over what that means. Because it means becoming like a small child with everything you see and think, placing your little hand in God's big hand, and following. It means stop the leading, it's not your job. Now, isn't that better? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.